Hello, and welcome back everybody. My name is Robius, and today I have a new episode of Assassin's Creed The Real History to share with you all. In this series, I compare events in a selected character's life within one of the Assassin's Creed games to the actual history the individual lived through. As always, beware of major story spoilers. For today's episode, we will be exploring the controversial political figure, Niccolo Machiavelli. As is customary, I'll begin this episode by sharing with you his pre-game history, which will inform us on his background prior to AC2 and ACB, then his in-game history, which we will see depicted in the game, and lastly, we will analyze the differences between what happens in the game to the real historical events of the man's life. Starting with the pre-game history, Niccolo di Bernardo di Machiavelli was born on May 3rd, 1469 in Florence, and was the third child of Bernardo di Niccolo Machiavelli and his wife Bartolomea di Stefano Nelli. Since his father was a jurist for a wealthy family, Niccolo was raised in the upper class. Through his childhood, he was taught the essentials of the era for higher class thinkers, such as rhetoric, Latin, and grammar. He became very proficient in writing in his native language and did a lot of research into the history of Romans. Other than this, there is no major information concerning the rest of his childhood or adolescence. It was in this intermission of historical records where we first met Machiavelli in Assassin's Creed 2. The game depicted him as already a member of the Assassin's Brotherhood at the age of 19, and he played a role by aiding Ezio fend off Rodrigo Borgia and later inducting the young man into their order. Evidently, there is no historical record that would indicate that he was part of such an organization, or that he would have even been in Venice at that time. The game also shows him participating in the Siege of Forli, helping Caterina Sforza reclaim her home. However, once again, there is no historical record proving such an event. Back in the real history, the next major record of Machiavelli's life was in 1494, when, at the age of 25, he became a diplomat in Florence, following the expulsion of the ruling Medici family, which was brought about due to the French invasion by Charles VIII. In the following four years, he occupied the posts of clerk in the second chancery of the commune, and later second chancellor and secretary of the Florentine Republic, which he held until 1512. In Assassin's Creed, he was shown to have participated in the downfall of Savonarola, with the help of Ezio, however, this too was not the case. Instead, while in this position, his years were filled with diplomatic missions that brought him all over Italy to represent Florence and even to France in 1500, where he met the new king, Louis XII. During this time, he developed strong political opinions and increased his influence and reputation among the Italian states. In 1502, he married Marietta Corsini, with whom he had several children. Machiavelli attempted to increase his position by siding with Piero Soderini, who had been chosen as the Gonfaloniere to change Florence's government so that it would better match Venice's. However, this failed, and Machiavelli and Soderini's reputations were tarnished. Later, in October of 1502, Machiavelli was sent as an envoy to the camp of Cesare Borgia, Duke of Valentino, who was currently in the middle of his military campaign in Romagna. He spent a significant amount of time working with Cesare and was greatly impressed by both his absolute audacity as a leader, such as when he executed his captains for disobeying him, his diplomatic prudence, which he used to gain what he wanted, his self-reliance, his employment of native troops, and his efficient administration of conquered provinces. The more time he spent with the Borgia Duke, the more he was incredibly influenced by both his cruelty and his brilliance. It is at this point that historians believe Machiavelli received his inspiration for writing his book Il Principe, or The Prince, that identified what he believed would be the ideals which a ruler must follow to remain in power. Machiavelli remained with Cesare until 1503, when he returned back to Florence. This shows a harsh contrast from Assassin's Creed's representation of the character, who, although he may have served with Cesare at a time, seemed to have despised the Borgia and was actually staying in Rome, plotting their murders and overall downfall with Ezio. Historically, between 1503 and 1506, while in Florence, Machiavelli divided his time between writing the prince, completing his regular duties, and creating the parameters for the Florentine militia. He had a strong distrust of mercenaries, but believed it essential to have a standing army for the city-state's security. Using his ideas, the militia was successfully organized and later defeated the troops from Pisa in 1509. Unfortunately, the success did not last. Following the fall of the Borgia and the eventual succession of a new pope, Julius II, the Medici were able to defeat the militia at Prato in 1512 using Spanish troops with the pope's consent. This led to the resignation of Florence's leader, Soderini, and the dissolution of Florence as a city-state. With the return of the Medici, Machiavelli was removed from office in 1512. He was then accused of conspiracy against the Medici family, partly for the fact that he established the militia that fought them, and therefore in 1513 he was imprisoned and tortured. After three weeks of questioning under duress, Machiavelli's continued denial of involvement led to his release. Following this dark period in his life, Machiavelli retired to his home in Sant'Andrea in Percusina. Not wanting to relinquish his connection to politics, he developed treaties and writings which truly advanced the political philosophy and political conduct of the period, while also writing multiple plays, some of which would become rather famous in his time. Therefore, although he had been removed from political work, he continued to remain in contact with well-connected friends who held various positions all across Italy. 
1512, Machiavelli died at the age of 58 in Florence. He was buried in the church of Santa Croce with an epitaph honoring him, inscribed in Latin that can either be translated as, so great a name has no adequate praise, or no eulogy would appropriate to such a great name. His most politically famous and controversial work, The Prince, which he intended to offer as a guide to the Medici so that he may regain his position, was only published five years after his death. Through his lifetime, Niccolò Machiavelli had a large influence on Florentine politics and procedures while also sharing his opinion in a way which affected all other cities and countries which he visited, such as France and Germany, among others. However, it should be considered that most of his work gained fame following his death, and to this day, he remains an iconic figure in political thinking. In summary, there were some differences between Machiavelli's actual life and his representation in AC2 and AC Brotherhood. First, Assassin's Creed 2 depicted him as a member of the Assassin's Order at the age of 19, with that entire involvement evidently not being factual. Secondly, the AC2 DLC demonstrated him playing a role during the Siege of Forli and the downfall of Savonarola. Although he was alive in that period and may have been in the area during the time of those events, there are no records that would indicate he participated in either circumstance. Thirdly, the the entire premise of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood was related to the fact that he moved to Rome specifically to bring about the end of the Borgia rule. Although he did visit the area, history paints a rather different picture as he served with Cesare for nearly a year, growing to truly admire and respect the man. Perhaps it can be considered that La Volpe's belief that he befriended Cesare would have been a hint to the actual historical fact. Fourthly, it is implied in Brotherhood that Machiavelli based the prince on Ezio's actions as he created the new Assassin's Brotherhood, however many records clearly prove that the prince was based on Cesare Borgia. I intend to write a book about you one day. If you do, make it short. And with that final fact, we have finished another episode of Assassin's Creed The Real History. I hope you all enjoyed the video, and if you did, I highly recommend you try out one of the Assassin's Creed games. Thank you all for watching. Please leave any suggestions for future characters from any of the Assassin's Creed games that you'd like me to cover in the comment section below. Please rate, comment, and subscribe to stay tuned with all the future Assassin's Creed The Real History videos, and I'll see you all in a future historical episode.